everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Matt and Jennifer Moses and we are a husband and wife team who flip furniture and today we are going to tackle this dresser that we found at the thrift store. Now the plan will be to add a new custom base and to stain the top and the custom base into a pretty gray color and then to paint the rest of the body into a cream color with some modern bar hardware. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is sand off this top and you can find our link for this sander in the description below for 10% off. This is the Surf Prep Random Orbital Sander and it does so good on taking that finish off. So now we are going to sand our base and then we are going to apply our stain choice onto the custom base and the dresser top. And this is a great example of how two different woods take the stain so completely different. And now I'm realizing that my plan is not going to work. So. Well, the show must go on. So now we're going to move on and we're going to remove the hardware while I come up with a new plan. While Matt works on these stubborn keyholes. And there's one on like every single door. So that's fun. So now we're going to be moving on and moving on to the custom base. So the first thing we're going to do is remove all of the drawers so that it is lighter and none of the drawers fall out as we flip it upside down in order to take the old base off and put a brand new custom base on. So you're about to watch a little sneak peek of what all goes into creating a custom base, how we have to remove the old base and we have to create a new base. So I want to know in the comments below, do you think that all of this work makes that much of a difference in the dresser and in your sale price? If you are interested in learning more about how we create these custom bases, we have a step-by-step -step tutorial that we will link here in the video along with all the products we use, like this one right here. So now that we have assembled the base, it is time to put it onto the dresser. So we do that by putting some wood glue on, flipping it over, getting it in place, and then drilling it into the dresser. And now that we've done that, we're moving on to the prep process. We use a 50-50 mix of denatured alcohol and water, and we do a scuff sand with it, and then we wipe it clean. And Matt is going to fill all of the holes with Bondo so that we can put in some new hardware. And I am taping off our brand new assembled custom base so that it does not get paint on it. While I am sanding off the Bondo, Matt is going to be getting ready to drill all of the brand new holes for our hardware. Now we are in the home stretch, guys. We are on to the priming and painting process. Right now we are applying the primer onto the top of the dresser. We use the Apollo Precision 5 sprayer if you are interested and it will be linked in the description below. And this is where our tape drape comes in very handy as we keep the insides of our drawers clean as we prime the drawer fronts. After our primer has dried, we do a light scuff sand and then now it is on to paint. This is a very subtle change from the primer to the paint. This is Reverent Gray. It is a nice gray cream color. And oh, love this process of when we take the tape drape off to show the gorgeous contrast between the subtle reverent gray and that gorgeous base. Now we get to really see it all get put together by putting the dresser back together and putting on the brand new hardware. And of course, we still have to seal the custom base and so we use the General Finishes High Performance Top Coat. Now we move the dresser to the other part of our shop, which is our staging wall. Take it off the rollers and get it ready to stage. This time went a lot better than last week when I had just come off of my long shift. Did anyone else see that video? I was tuckered out. Anyway, onto the staging process. I usually try to do a plant, a candle, some books. I try to fit the feel of the piece to the type of decor that I choose. And in case you didn't know, staging is so important when you're selling furniture. It draws the attention in and it tells the person how they can use it and how they can see it in their home. I have a whole video on how to stage and we will link that right now. 
But this is how it turned out and it looks so good. We are so happy with how it turned out. The light contrast between the Reverend Gray and the oak base was mwah, chef's kiss. Thank you for following along. We are Matt and Jennifer Moses. We are a husband-wife team who flip furniture. Like and subscribe for more flips and tricks.